From the Western wilderness to the Oscar stage, that was the unexpected route for Alex Honnold, a rock-claiming phenom who's the subject of an incredible documentary. Well, he lives in Las Vegas, and 8 News Now reporter Orko Mana caught up with his fellow climbers to see what this means for their sport. Free solo. <laughs> On Hollywood's biggest night, the Oscar for Best Documentary Feature went to a film that took audiences to new heights. I'll never be content unless I at least put in the effort. Free Solo centers around Las Vegas-based climber Alex Honnold and his incredible feat of scaling the famous El Capitan rock face at Yosemite National Park. The 3,000-foot climb all done without ropes. You might do a really large route. Andy Rather co-owns Origin Climbing in Henderson. He's been on a few climbs with Honnold, who he says takes soloing to a whole new level. You go into that mood movie having the imagination and the feelings of worst case scenario. It's like I started crying during the movie a couple of times. He makes it as much calculated risk as possible and it's just terrifying. The risk turned into reward Sunday night. Rather says he's proud the film has brought the sport into the spotlight. It's really cool to see a climbing movie get that far in the film world and then get the biggest thing you could possibly get for it. Alex comes here and trains sometimes. Others who have climbed with Honnold say the film gives the world a glimpse into what is often a private project. Soloing is kind of a really personal thing for climbers. It's you tell somebody you solo and they think you're crazy because you, you can die. You will die if you fall. Um, so I think it's pretty brave of him to put that out there. Even though climbing on rock walls like this one isn't exactly free soloing, businesses hope the Oscar winning movie will get more people interested. It would be nice to see people kind of catch on and go, oh, that looks like a really interesting sport. Now I'm going to do something that's less crazy, but check it out and just in for fun. Orko Mana, 8 News Now. Alex Honnold has advocated for the protection of the Red Rock National Conservation Area. In fact, our cameras caught up with him back in 2017 as protesters gathered to try and stop developers from rezoning nearby land. Well, I just think it's important to preserve the, the wild nature of Red Rock Canyon. Um, I mean, I guess that's kind of it for recreation, just to preserve the, the wild character. You know, it feels like a totally remote, wild place. and it's. It's one of the few places in the whole country where you can feel like you're so deep in nature, so close to such a big city, and it'd be a shame to see that city spread, you know, and overtake nature like that. Well, he sure lives that message. Uh, Save Red Rock, by the way, has dropped the lawsuit against the development, which would see thousands of new homes built on Blue Diamond Hill. Now, the county is doing environmental analysis right now for that project. So interesting. Well, congratulations to him and everything yeah, involved with that huge. amazing documentary. Very cool. All right.